Absorption Quirk, written by BNHA Scenarios Imagines, on Tumblr. Your quirk was one that came with great consequences. You couldn't touch people without taking their energy away. You were left with a fear of touching. Everything but your face was covered so you couldn't accidentally hurt someone. Bakugo remembered a story you had told him when you had first started dating. You had almost killed someone when you had touched them for far too long. You had believed you had gained control over your quirk. It was why, even with your gloves, you were hesitant to touch him. In fear you would kill him. He noticed the way your eyes seemed to linger on the couples when the two of you were out. The way you looked longingly at how they could kiss each other how they could hold hands with ease. So in hopes of easing your insecurities, he took your covered hand in his. It doesn't matter. He huffed, his eyes looking away from you as he spoke. One day you will be able to hold hands without your gloves getting in the way. And one day I'll kiss you without having you having to worry. You just need a train. Thank you, you said as you squeezed his hand, smiling to yourself when you felt him squeeze back. Don't fucking worry. Todoroki seemed to have a sixth sense for sensing people's insecurities. You thought this over as you felt the way his hand slipped into yours. He must have noticed you staring at the couple a few feet in front of you. A couple from your school were talking together, holding hands and laughing. They would bump into one another before looking up at each other, their skin touching. You've worked hard, spoke Todoroki, a reminder to the fact you could now touch someone for a minute before absorbing their energy. You were still working on being able to shut your quirk off completely, and only using it when you needed it. You're getting there. Um, yeah. You spoke, looking to the side, away from the couple, and the concerned gaze of Todoroki. He frowned and slowly brought your hand up, pressing a gentle kiss to the back of it before sheepishly looking away. I'm proud of you, Traveler. You're close. Very close. He looked back at you, his hand squeezing yours to reassure you before he let them fall back to your sides, still in his grasp. Uh, oh. <laughs> you spoke, looking away from him in embarrassment. Thank you, Shoto. <laughs> You smiled as you gently swung your hand in his back and forth between the both of you. You know, it means a lot to hear you say that. Then I'll keep saying it. It's the truth. <laughs> I'm sure you can hold my hand without the glove. I can just use my quirk. Kirishima grinned and you couldn't help but smile back. A certain sadness seemed to plague your usual cheery smile as you shook your head. Uh, as long as your skin touches, I'm afraid your quirk won't protect you from mine. You looked away as you pulled your glove back on. Kirishima frowned but said nothing else. He stayed quiet for a moment longer before calling out to you. Traveler? He called, leaning closer to you. You hummed, turning to face him, your eyes still focused on your glove as you struggled to button up the side. Yeah, AJ. His lips found their way onto yours, his hand sliding to touch your side as he pulled you closer. It lasted for a little too long. He pulled away, smiling as he leaned against the desk behind you. Please don't look so sad. I may not be able to touch you for long periods of time yet, but I know someday I'll be able to, and I'll hold you for hours on end. <laughs> he 
He grinned, and your face felt a flush. Well, until that day, please be careful and mindful of your touching, you mumbled. You heard him laugh as he leaned further into the desk. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Traveler, you make me feel dizzy. This could be you, you said as you stared at the unconscious person laying before you. Darby frowned from behind, walking to your side as he scowled. It sounds as though you're making a threat. Hmm. He hummed as he watched you pull your gloves over your exposed hand. Anyway, I don't care that I can't touch you. PDA is overrated. He tilted his head to the side. As long as I can spend time with you, I don't give a shit at what you can or can't do. Besides, now you don't have to touch these hands. He raised his hands, smiling as he turned on his heel. You he frowned and quickly followed, stepping into pace with him as you slipped your hand into his. I like your hands, you confessed, your face flushed as you continued to walk forward. I think they're nice. Yeah, and I like you, he replied as he looked down at you. So don't ever think you need to touch someone to show your affection, idiot. You're good the way you are. He then looked away from you, but not before you felt the squeeze of his hand around yours. Smiling, you leaned into his side, playfully. PDA is overrated, huh? <laughs> Shut up. 